Do you ever feel stuck when trying to make a sample? Feel like you're overthinking everything and you don't know where to start? Well, a lot of the best music is actually made by experimenting. So I'm going to show you how to experiment with plugins to make unique effects like guitar pedals. If you haven't seen guitar pedals like the Chase Bliss, they're very unique with the way they can flip a sample and create textures. <laughs> To start with, I'll show you this basic electric piano. You can see I've routed this to a drum bus, which has this special reverb effect. And I've just turned the wet to 100% and the dry all the way down. So it's just getting that pure reverb signal. And I've just created an automation clip on the drum bus there. Listen to the automation and the texture it creates. It has that really cool airiness texture. Create more texture, I exported the electric piano and pitched it up. And I put this delay on with 100% wet again. The delay time to be very fast. And you can see I've made this automation with the modulation wheel to sound like this. Again, layering the same sound, but with a different unique texture. On top of that, I've just added this bell sound that I'll play for you dry. Sounds cool, but we can add more. I've added this delay, but I've used a different version. I've used this pitch mode and put it up to 12 semitones. Then I've used this bit crusher to really crunch the texture so it sounds a little bit more harsher. I want you to pay attention to the delay automation. Watch how the plugin changes the, the speed. Then I found these vocals. I just added this auto boy to pitch it down and this spring reverb that's playing in mono. Then again, I've rendered another part out, ran it through this portal and used this shaper box so it's changing the timing and the filtering. Let me just play these two solos so you can hear what they sound like. Then you can see I've added another layer and I've used this crystallizer, making again the pitch and the delay go fast. And you can see I've used the automation to pan it left to right. Then again for the vocal, I use another crystallizer using the same effect, this time reversing it and speeding it up by tempo. And that creates some cool like riser effect. Then I just wanted to add a simple bass, but just change it up a little bit. Thought to myself, how can I keep this sub to fit in with the mood? So I added this decapitator and I used an automation. You can see it rising up towards the end. Then I just added some bells again with some portal. Then I thought I'd just add something simple. So I've got another sound for my free one shot kit. If you haven't downloaded that, it'd be free on my website. And it sounded like this. Putting the pitch range to 12 and then creating an automation can make something like this. But that rising effect fits perfect when you match it with a DK automation.
then again, to keep something simple, I found this profit preset and I just use this one note. which again sounds cool, but you can see down here I made an automation with the mod wheel. Watch when it rises, how it sounds. Kind of has a texture like a Formula One car. Then I added this low high frequency filter mod, which sounded like this when you're playing it all together. Then I wanted to make an atmospheric sound that just sounded a little bit more full. So I got these three different one shots from my one shot kit. When I flick through these, you can see I've actually played them like they're called. So this sound having the fifth, the next sound the third, and the other sound the first. And I created a drum bus so they're all going into each other using this weird reels echo. And let me show you this on its own. And then for the last texture, I created this ARP section with the same chords. Running it for a shaper box bit crusher, I created another automation for the channel pitch of the bells to sound like this. When we play all these textures together, it sounds something like this. 